常的伤心，所有球迷大家晚上好。三天的热身赛赛事呢，很快就进行到最后一场比赛了。这场比赛呢，将我们高雄钢铁人地主球队出战新竹建构工程师篮球队，在这边呢，也是我们桌上比赛，两队的都希望在热身赛可以拿下一个非常好一个练习的成绩。那所以这边呢，我必须先听听看我们现场球迷声音好不好？来，我们现场的小心，你们的声音在哪里？非常好，那此次的赛事呢，也非常感谢我们一期直播冠名赞助我们这三天热身赛赛事，然后呢，他们在我们的直播摊位呢，有很多互动呢，等着大家一起来同乐，也非常感谢探索马里餐饮集团赞助我们这次赛事活动的奖品。那这边呢，也要跟大家提醒一下，我们只要组队的球员投进一颗三分球，探索马里餐饮集团就会送出十组的优惠券以及折价券。投的越多，送的越多。那这边是否先借由大家掌声，谢谢一期直播以及探索马里餐饮集团。好，话不多说，我相信呢，我们说雄心已经准备好了，就是我们热身赛最后一场赛事，大家不留余力，拿出你的热情，帮高手钢铁的加油 ，Let's go！ 好，接下来我们的开场表演，特地邀请到高雄在地苹果家族街舞教室，他们是成立于二零零六年，苹果家族粉专拥有十万多名的粉丝。那舞蹈教室 MV 呢，影片在 YouTube 也达到百万的点阅率，更在二零到二三三年之间连续拿下十二座冠军以及亚军。这十年来致力于推广街舞比赛，以及成立各联城的舞团，与众多艺文界单位以及政府机构合作，举办无数的发表会。在整个热身赛最后一天，苹果家族十一位 Apple Girls 将在钢铁主场带给全场最杀最帅的视觉闪现，用热情掌声欢迎苹果家族儿童街舞教室。
而热情掌声，谢谢苹果舞团带来非常精彩的表演。Hello, ladies and gentlemen, seniors and youth. It's the last game of the Plus League preseason in 2022. The site is Shinju, oh, excuse me, Kaohsiung Fongsan Stadium, where they take on the Shinju Jeko Lioneers. The finale of basketball here after the cheerleaders for the Steelers perform.再次热情掌声，谢谢我们最有活力的篮球队——钢铁女神亚典娜。二零二二赛普拉斯利少赛联盟热身赛，本场比赛将由地主队高雄钢铁的主战新竹结构工程师篮球队首先为大家介绍客
We are Steelers. 我们高雄凤山见。Yes， 我们准备好了。We are ready。现场收听，你们准备好了没？雄钢铁人球员进场，高雄 Steelers。首先出场是高雄钢铁人最可爱的吉祥物，艾恩。迎接进场是高雄钢铁人球员，钢铁人潜力新星,星二号 Number Two J West 张杰伟。华丽美学，吕美小将，大硕登场，八号王玉霞，少林寺出品，名不虚传，铜墙铁壁，九号邱伯章。钢铁坦克二点零重装上阵，十号王波正，晨曦南部钢铁板球风，荣耀满箱，十二号郑德伟。组成钢铁的重要元素，不可或缺的外线火力。十号 ，Number Forty， Face， 凡斯。铜墙铁壁，内线霸主。二十三号，蓝少佛。浪花才子，钢铁机关枪，三十号，杨浩志。接下来为大家介绍先发球员 Starting f i v 由由个人爆发力，进攻手段人里人外，禁区三下，零号，南方利落，秘密，甜蜜。全人身手，冠军收集专家，来自塞尔维亚的 MVP， 四号 Number s i x b o y s 波伊。防守悍将，风起来连队友都怕，人来风射手，七号张国威。穿针引线，后场小钢炮，联盟的新人王，四号陈佑威。有请出手，球队精神领袖，钢铁队长，莱博十三号，李振龙。总经理高体。篮球事务营长郑志龙，总教练黑的过去，阿雷，助理教练洪启超、李婉如，首席体能训练师 Mills， 体能训练师陈胜全，训练员林天雅，防护员黄玉俊、包俊兴。双方球员互相握手致敬，也请双方球员进行最后赛前暖身。这边也为大家介绍本场比赛执法裁判宋明律、陈朝红、洪世轩。Player introductions are done. We have five and a half minutes on the clock as the players begin their final warm-ups. There's your matchup card. The Lioneers on the road against the Steelers, who lost to the Braves on Saturday night, and the Lioneers lost to the Dreamers. Both of them trying to finish this preseason one and one. Have some good feelings as they finish up their off-season work before opening both of these teams against the Braves on back-to-back -back nights, November 5th and November 6th in Huffing. 
Now to refer to last season, the second for the Lioners, first for the Steelers. The Lioners were second in defense and second in offense. Meanwhile, the Steelers, you could say, had the highest two-point percentage allowed, while they were also second in steals and second in turnovers again. So their defensive strategy is to be disruptive without having to fight for the rebounds down low. Our manual broadcast duo is Xiaohu Hu Jingxi on the left of the previous frame. And on the right is Tai Jingjing on his sixth game in three days. Andre Bocic, the high score and high rebounder for the Steelers. And it was a, kind of amusing for to see him communicating with Coach Lale and his son on the bench. But anyways, the Steelers have 20 registered players just for this preseason weekend. The regular season only allowed 19. Meanwhile, the Lioneers kind of trimming things around the edges with only 16. Well, the graphic right now is the Xiongxing, the Steelers fan, supposed to be on the right as seeing the combination of Taylor Braun over to the Hainan Ghost Hawks of the other league here in Taiwan. And Anthony Bennett, of course, a Lioneer now. Well, the team averaged 21.2 assists per game, and Taylor Braun, when he was on the floor, 8.4 per game. There's some of the decision makers for the Steelers, and Kenny Gauching in, and Tony Tetsulo. They're on the right, general manager and head of basketball operations and development, respectively. Coach Lale adding a lot to his staff after joining the Steelers, and uh, notching three victories. As he took over the uh, head coaching duties. Got a number of on and off from the active roster from two days ago to today. These are the only two teams that got to play one game, have a day off, and play another game as everybody else played back to back. There on screen is. Number six, Zhou Yixiang, who was a big free agency signing during the season. 191 centimeter forward who won MVP at the SBL level before heading over to the CBA. But there are injuries keeping him off the floor. Meanwhile, Anthony Bennett, if you need to actually put on a jersey. Joining good friend Sim Bullar in the starting lineups, which we'll bring to you shortly. William, William Artino there will start off the bench. For the Lioneers in the first season, they were second in, the, in terms of turnovers. Now last in last year's contest at 18.1, actually last year they turned it over the most. Well, in their matchup against the Dreamers, that was 27 turnovers, and in the previous broadcast, we said the Pilots are known for popping it up a few times. Well, the Lioneers giving Coach Greg a lot to work on with their team system, their team schemes, and probably most importantly, their guard play as Bennett, Sim, and Artino can play the center position. So, the weight of playing the point position, guard position, wing positions are up to their locals. So, Oscar Rookie of the Year two seasons ago, took a step up last year, making the all second team. Tiaha, who showed his worth in the playoffs, as well as former team in the UBA level, or excuse me, former rival in the UBA level too, Ian Hall. Kind of getting my schools mixed up as last game we had Omar playing against Samsung, yeah. For example, both those guys out of Tunsi University. On the right, the number zero, Femi Onlujobi. 
Also looking for a bounce back performance. There's the starting lineup. It'll be a two guard set for the Lion Ears, Mimi and Oscar Goggle Hall next to Julian Hall, Anthony Bennett, and Sim Bullar. On the other side, last year's rookie here, Tanya Wei, next to Captain Lu Li Chenzu. Wei is back after his year off from the team, and they call him Kimmy. Kimmy is all in Joby Kimmy. And Bo just, of course, jumping center. So Miller is the crew chief there in the middle. Oh. Yeah, he's probably took a few too many layups and uh, a little bit slow to get out of their huddle. They'll be in their home whites while the Lioneers showing off their purple Windy City jerseys. They did show off a black and purple version in the interleague games. Okay, take a picture. Bojic is listed at 208 centimeters. And Sin Bular, of course, listed at 126. He is the tallest player. Yeah, Samuel Guevara previously held that title at 230 centimeters. I guess you could say active plus lead players, as active as you can be in a preseason game. Still the tip, and Sim hopes ahead to Jerry. That's not the right team. Captain Lou right away with a three, airballs it. Quite a bit more excitement in the building. The line here is, of course, one of the most popular teams on the island. Tuliha lines it up. And Sim with the easy finish and one. Couple missed threes, but Sim Bular got to do your work early and you got to help out down low. Makes the free throw and Bennett there for the rebound. And another easy dunk. Well, it's one thing to give up the initial basket, but on a missed free throw. Sim was 5 for 9 in the first game as this time Captain Lou hits it off the glass and he's got a free throw coming up for himself. Getting a look as the Julian Hall who got caught with his hand in the cookie jar there. off with that free throw. Bellini missed the, the action on Saturday, but he's in and starting. As I mentioned, he's one of the four players of the line here, brought over to Oregon and Northern California for some extra training. I guess you could say special training, but he missed the three. Jerry will bring the ball over. Ogilvy's three, in and out. A little line on line ear on line ear prime there. One, three. Hey, Captain Lou deserves a little bit of the credit. Oh, just drive, but thought better of it. Now Weber started the other game hot. Let's get a trip to the line. Taipei Fubon Brave and missed all of last year with a suspension. Talked about last game and previously the pretty much brothers in Stephen Countryman and the waiting out of Tyson. Well, there's a couple from the Steelers out of that same high school, including 
Weber. Down the floor, Sid missing the one-handed alley. Pass makes down to the other side, and Moses able to lay it in. Quickly down the floor. Furyhaw able to get the lay in. Seems right now playing with a frenetic place as Moses went all day. There's the effort play that Weber can provide. Open the corner. Oh, Joby rattles the home. Lioners do love to play zone. Not going with it right now as Oscar Boyd stepping on the sideline. And a free lane for the layup. That puts us tied at eight as we played a two and a half minutes. To the other side, and Zinn picks it up off the deck. A little three on two as Lee Mee. Hot potato. It's going to be a turnover by the Lioneers. Weber puts it off the glass. No. And right now the referees. Looks like we got a foul. On the other side, as we see Dorian Hall. Did not have his eyes on it. It's kind of curious. But as the referees sort that out, we have a ref we have a timeout called by one of the teams. Our chance for a break, catch our breath. Shoki 很好做的非常的好。Just a few more times playing, interacting with the camera in the stadium and the big screen. So far, we have an 8-8 eight eight game between the Lion Ears and the Steelers. I don't know if I've ever seen the Steelers headband that whoever Tomboy is rocking. The Steelers finished in a fifth place last season with the Lion Ears first overall in the regular season. Interesting note, we're talking about that first weekend. The Steelers opened their season last year in hoping on a Sunday. After the Dreamers surprised the Braves with that big comeback victory. Ryan gets swinging around and Bennett left open in the other corner off the mark. Keeping his weight nice and low, jumps on the ball and gets a possession for his team. What an effort by Fort, well known as the first overall pick in an NBA draft. Substitution as Tank is about to check in. You know what his assignment is. 
coming in along with Vance Jackson Jr. who will play the back line of that 1-3-1. One, one. Throw it with the shot and ricochet to Jerry. Over the tank in the middle, he slices but can't finish. Right now, there's plenty of cheering when the Steelers have something going for them. Got to be better at finishing there. No one there to contest that shot at the end. It's the first free throw. Wombo to join the Steelers as a free agent. Average 6.5 points per game. Almost trapped. The Lioneers have Oscar at the rim looking for the alley. Nobody was home. Now two Lioneers are late. Goldish misses at the rim. And the looks like the slot referee, slot official, called goaltending. Not an easy one. As we get into the look, it's close. We needed a second look at that. And the bucket counted from 12 to 8. No surprise. A lot of the love is 1 3 1. Wunderhaus slices, hands it off to Sim, who dumps it down low. Moses who slips, but Sim called for the point of contact foul. Fourteen fouls for the Lion Ears. The end stadium scoreboard, that's the second personal on Sim. Look at five points in the early goings after 24 and 16. He was 8 for 19 from the field, and a lot of those, oh, 8 for 19 from two, excuse me, so. Not a great percentage for a big man. They pass it out of the trap, and Jerry, that's one of his expertise. The deflection as Clearing Hall gets a wide open three and hits it. Oh, it. Can't get past Ben at the first time. Step back two. A chance for the Lion Ears to run. Oscar with two on his right. Now we're there and a foul. They kept the basket. That was kind of weird cadence. We see Tu Yihau. Like mentioned, had a real strong playoff run. Very difficult regular season where he struggled. Kind of like Sandra Yan. And the Pirates first overall pick one of those lengthy shooters. And uh, bad awareness by the Steelers as they let that free throw go out of bounds. Top and 
hit. Takes that one away. And right now, nothing going right for the field. Of course, off the pressure of the game. Get the two point layup. That's right. Sometimes we have to specify the plus lead. If a layup is or a two or three. What's out there? Called for the push. Jack Jr. was stumbling and out of bounds there. Nice one-handed pass by the lefty. And Artino will sub out Bennett, who's going to fix one of his hair braids. First score of the game for Junior there, Jackson Junior. And the second one. A little a one, two, two trap. The line here is great. Martino at the high post, Sim. Waiting for his opportunity and too much traffic down low. Lee Lee through your hall and there's a foul. What's the late whistle, but through your hall and Lee Lee down on the floor on that side. down there. players in the league. So, well, the Artinos played plenty of basketball this offseason. They've got a nationalized player for Team Chinese Taipei right now with the Basketball Association here in Taiwan. But they haven't kept them sharp in the line. Corner. They say there's 
Castillo has got a line change going. So his teammate is the university level. Lance Off will check in. He'll be marking for South Joe over here as the Lioneers keep swapping players too. Getting his first rest along with Xiao Sun Yi. <laughs> Line up a little bit better after that miss. We'll look over and see the uh, broadcast table there in front of behind the blue boxes holding up our monitors. Set for the line here is against that 1 3 1 zone. Bennett, back door, but the pass behind Joker, they call him Symbol or three. Well, actually, most people call him Shao Hei, but on this English broadcast, he's called Joker. I think it's kind of fitting. He's got a, a quite deep arsenal of ways to score. Gary finds Bojic, but Anthony Bennett comes for the help. Salvo will show off his stroke. Ooh. I don't know if it touched anything. Nicky, nice no looker to Bennett. He finishes with two. Reflected pass and a fouling transition. Might get away with just a common foul, but it will be free throws. Bodies with two fouls. We'll head to 
the bench. That was a free throw, though. Wow, according to the Plus State website, of the visit staff, PLeagueOfficial.com, as you search around, the line is now only two for eight after that make. Yeah, took the brunt of it. Taking some inventory there. Get another look. It's going to be on Captain Lou for that extra arm action. Oh, get a little bit more fighting, Captain Lou, as you got posterized in the game against the Braves. Joby gets the steal. The steal finished the three. You can hear that one all the way from here. Little getting the deflection. Cook Lale's got to calm himself down and stay behind his area. The Lion here, they're going to bring Oscar and the Uve to calm things down. Only down got the switch. Let me run the stagger. Jackson takes the contact but can't pin it. What's up? Jeff fouled on his way to the rim. They're going to count the shot. Nice job. What's up, Jeff? A couple on him. John Speaker has Oscar almost causes a lot of chaos there. Right here to the ball, and so it's going to be Jackson three. Yeah. 
partial transition. Wade given all the room in the world. As there will be a foul first. And uh, I can let you in a little bit. It was William Martino <laughs> talking to an official he knows from a different level of competition. Let you in. Whoever makes the foul call in FIBA basketball ends up opposite of the scorer table. Martino, not known as a very strong free throw shooter, hits the first though. So, so much for the broadcaster's reverse screen. Oh, Joby waiting for her teammate to pop free. And Oscar pushes the poke away, the hustle. He's going to force the ball back even further. The Steelers to go 90 feet down the floor and score. The Lion Ears are going to make it even harder. Bringing in into Boca, the big out of Sijing University. Lou, call him out of bounds. You know, the late clock situation, and the Lion Ears have 9.14. That was the correct call. Waiting for the high screen. Oscar. A.B. way deep, and it will end up underneath the basket. Not a great execution of the play, but the Lion Deers take a one-point lead into the first, second quarter break. Oh,什麼都不必說,除了身體力是屬於我們高雄鋼鐵人的,在這掌聲謝謝蘋果家族。好,剛剛的Fans的投進三分球的所有我們現在送出呢,我們的潘總幫你計算的得價券機會券,我
shot efficiency, they only hit five of them. So maybe that's working in the Steelers' favor, who hit nine of 12. My goodness. Here's Coach Greg. Voted a best coach, head coach of the year by members of the media last season. Cowboy with the Bojan screen gets it to him. He's got the mismatch, but they're not sending it down to him. It's a weird way to run offense as Weber misses the three. Martino. Tough make down low. All amongst Bozic and Alu Gobi. Now Weber trying to go one on one against Ryan, the new play in. It throws it straight out of bounds. a lot more success off of curls and active off-ball movement, but clearly not nearly the ball handler. That'll lead a lot of success for the Steelers. Shall show you screen score. As Bennett, great hand. This is the put, this is the close one. Martino, probably going to get called for a flop point there, but sticks strong and makes it a tough shot for Ola Jobu. Shalkoon on the block. Martino with a hook shot off glass. I think he had an ankle there. Seven points as Bojan spins and spins again. Really boring offense for the Steelers right now as Weber flashes that three. He's big for Oscar and he's got the answer. Spins away, fades away, and another tough make. It's been a long time since we've seen that zone defense. The Steelers fairing a little bit better matched up in hand. The Ryan. Looks underneath, but ran out of angle. Joby step back, already hit one, missing, but Chalcini he slapped it right to a stealer when he could have got the rebound. Gary beats Artino, won't get the lay-in, but he'll go to the line. as Jamarcus comes in for the first time. If I can attempt this, Jamarcus Hakeem Miridi. But in Taiwan, he goes by Tsang Giaway. Point now to the number four, Gary. If you see Taiwanese players wearing number four, chances are they've worn it all their career. 
at, at a bunch of levels. Oscar rifled that left-handed pass to Bennett. He's going to get called for the offensive foul. He said he didn't need to use the right arm hook there on the drive. I guess in fairness, the Chelsea and Jamarcus was standing pretty erect. Yeah, Martino jumps the pass seriously, and Bojic gets the tough layup. Martino hustled down the floor, but Oscar wants to slow it up. Hitting baseline, he's got an angle, foul, and the bucket. Pioneers ah! get Sim Bular in the game. And Sim kept Martino in the game. there in the perimeter. Weber runs it and scores for two. Not his first score, but certainly his first score in a while. Martino to Oscar. Wayne cleared by Sim, but he finishes with the left hand, but no celebration. And head down and guard his man. Marcus. Missing with that three. And Martino, not the easiest two he has all night as Lale again. Not very appropriately approaching the scorer's table. So as frustrated as he is, it is only a two point deficit. Then Bullard will get credit for the block there as Oscar throws it out of bounds. This big man's hustle after the defense. But then pops three. It's like a magic trick he just performed. I guess he didn't. He's trying to execute something else. Whistle on the floor. Second 
Moses. That's another three. Got a double spin with the passes. Aaron once again. So many Lioneers turnovers. There's a foul down low. A green wave. The pass is guarding two. Another look. There's the body bump and then on the arm. Play will check out two personal fouls. This is quintessential preseason game. Substitutions that might be taking a lot of time to happen. Thanks for sticking with us as you see Tank. Manning center field. Watch the full court press! What? Emmy having a much better second game with 16 points to his name already. out of the corner. Got it back up top with only seven seconds left. Sim. And the power tank. And Femi blocks AB shot. Here come the Steelers. One man to beat. Jamarcus doesn't get the land, but Femi there will get the line here to foul once again. Certainly, as we see from the rising stars, there with a lot of courage in the open court, even in the half court, going to the hoop. But going to work on the finishing just a little bit. down the floor. Shao Hay lays it in and that is some horrible transition defense by the Steelers. You see the nice footwork and what people are kind of talking about with them more. A much older prospect at 25 years old but drafted in the second round by the Lioneers. dribblers in our league, Ling Yi. Throws a deep pass to Sim, but he turns around and throws it right into a turnover. all the way up ahead. Over turns and fires and finishes the battery. A 
cross court pass. Sliding foul as Weber went over to help first. Off as Sim threatens the shot. Deflected pass, running low on time. Six, five. Touring Hall's three is good. Marcus takes the baseline, Jay. Bouncing right to Touring Hall. They go to Sim early and they call a holding foul first. I'm pretty sure Ola Joby needs to be instructed that there's no foul due to replay in our league. Steals it away. He got it back and a slam to the floor. It's just going to be counted as a missed layup. Ooh, huh, this time from the left side. All net with that one. The biggest lead for the Lioneers at six points. That means Spencer is out. Quick in possession. And they call traveling. Got a technical foul on the record book. As a reminder, the referees this season will be wearing the wires. But Gary will be taking this one technical free throw. I guess that's one weakness, weak spot for the Steelers free throw brigade. Delivers it to Sim. So far in two games, he's proving to be the best beater to the big man. Oh, Joby shot is good. Looks like we're going to get a delay of game touching the ball and the basket warning. Big pass one way and a clean delivery. Why 
Samir is now going small. I think Bennett's at the center with Iboka at the power forward position. They break the pressure. Julian Hall already hitting two. Can't make it three yet. Jackson, pin. Steelers in the first game. Balls on the floor picked up by Iboka. Steelers in the first game can only get 43 points. Okay, with the line here. Here's a step back uh, learning Jackson has. The small lineup is definitely something that we'd expect the Lioneers to put out more often after last year's experience in spurt. But we'll go to a break, and I'll break it down after we come back from these messages. It's a two point game with 44 seconds left on the second quarter clock as Ion. Getting nice and cozy with a fan on the uh, baseline courtside seats. Great to see a healthy crowd. Certainly not as big as the previous two days, we have to admit. But now that the Steelers are playing, that enthusiasm is ramped up quite a bit. I don't think I've seen any LED lights for the Lion here. Ooh, the hall. But a miss leads to an A.V. dunk. Lee Mi Yi with a no-look rebound and assist. We need to put more weight on this basket, and it's not for Sim. One last possession. For the Steelers is Jackson. His arc is good. Wow. out there. It might have been a rebounding violation. No, just a deflection. You never tell too early about these new players in this new league. Logo shot off iron. A little bit short. Try again next time. One point lead for the Lioneers as they head to the locker room for half. We got one last preseason game. Okay. Okay. 那這部分呢這部分呢要請我們的剛剛參加四位中場戲朋友來哪四位 
，还有一位，还有一位下来了吗？好，请在这边等待一下，我再讲一下游戏规则。好，还有一位，刚刚来到蓝彩色篮球小球的那位朋友，还有一位。好，来来，到了，到了，到了，好。好，游戏规则呢，一样要请我们的女神呢，帮我们计算我们娃娃的数量，计算娃娃数量。那我们这次规则呢，是在一分钟，等下会一次两位进行，两位进行。那这部分呢，请在三分线，三分线外先做准备。好，我们呢禁区投篮就可以得到一个娃娃，禁区投可以得到一个娃娃，罚球线投篮可以得到两个娃娃，三分线投篮可以得到三个娃娃。从一个点投篮不可以超过两次，所以意思就是说，禁区完之后要回到罚球线，再到三分线，懂吗？好，那再轮着投，轮着投，这样了解 ？OK， 好，这边呢，我们就请两位球迷朋友，哎、欸，都是我们雄心吗？有没有工程师的球迷？只有你是不是？好，那我们就把你放在后面，然后请这两位雄心，我们先一人一边，好不好？折扇，我先把你收起来。这个武器非常的重要。好，来拿一颗球给他们，来请艾恩这边。好，这位雄心，你是这边。哎，这里，这里，这里，这里，投这里，投这里，一人一边哦。一分钟时间，好，请在三分区外准备。接到 ready go， 你就可以进去先做你的投篮哦。游戏规则，一个部分只能投一次哦，不可以连续投两次哦。好，来老师，一分钟的时间，音乐请下，谢谢。Ready go go， 好，进去的投篮，记得是一颗，哇，女生这边拿到一颗了。好，罚球线，罚球线，是罚球线，罚球线，罚球线，罚球线哦。好，罚球线，这球有点低，在三分线，三分线记得就三颗，三分线记得就三颗，大力一点，我们的女生都帮你加油了。用力的推出去，有机会打反，哎呀，可惜。对自己投自己捡哈，不好意思，我们呢要以求公平。好 ，It's halftime here where when the Steelers play, they have a little shooting competition. This time on both sides of the hoop, which is kind of interesting. Certainly a little bit more fast paced, could you say, timing wise, as it is a limited clock. Whereas this game though has a ton of free throws going on. Not on the score sheet. 14 plus 19 on pace to certainly way surpass the regular season average last year. Lion here's are shooting better from the field. 23, 41. Both teams around average for a three-point shooting. Lion here's better on the board. With some of those long rebounds, but that's a product of multiple guys going to box out Smith Bullard. So far, he's not had a huge impact on the game, but of course, his presence still looms large. Line here is also trying to increase the pace of their attack to see if they can catch their opponents paying too much attention to Big Sim. Meanwhile, on the Steeler side, maybe Stumbleway is having a little bit of a regression game after debuting with a hot start against the Braves, but. Only Jogi, Jack Jackson Jr. are having better games. Scoring the basketball from close and beyond the arc as well. Ball movement at times is much better and much more creative, and they're always going to stick to that 1 3 1 zone. For the Lion here, they haven't showed off their 2 3 zone, which we you know they would love to work on a lot. To take advantage of during the regular season. Certainly an education for the Steelers as we haven't seen Manny Harris at all and he's the only import holdover from last season. But we were looking for the Lioneers who did play one year pro in the SPL. Bring a different dynamic, and of course, Lee Me is the most noteworthy one. Well, we got another break coming up. We'll be back after this.
好，没关系，不管哪边的热爱篮球，我们都感谢你。好，恭喜你获得我们的奖品，谢谢。那其他三位球迷呢？谢谢你们。好，我们请到中间颁奖，谢谢。来，请到中间。好，我们那三位球迷呢？我们请稍微留步一下，也送你们一个我们一期直播的娃娃。好，我们请艾恩呢帮我们颁奖，这是要送的吗？好，可以获得我们的高雄钢铁的纪念 T 恤。来，谢谢呢，我们刚刚总共参加我们中场游戏的球迷朋友，谢谢你们。好，我们再次掌声，谢谢这几位球迷朋友，谢谢。好，我们给新恩一个人一个拍照一下。好，接下来呢，我们要抽出我们高雄钢铁人首位三分，三分啊，三分得到的球员就是我们的凡斯。好，我们这边呢，请大家拿出你的票券，我们要来开始抽奖了。好，艾恩，请帮我拿着一下。好，凡斯是我们首位投进三分的球员。好，票券拿出来哦，有谁是投给凡斯的？好，这边呢，这位朋友姓方，方玉成，方玉成在现场吗？电话是零九五五，后三码是八六九，零九五，哪里哪里哪里？好，恭喜你可以得到我们高雄钢铁为你准备的奖品。好，请下来找工作人员领奖，谢谢。好，非常的快，好，也谢谢艾恩。好，那等会呢，我们还有一个乐透的一个部分哦，乐透的部分。好，中场游戏非常的多哈，艾恩，你的眼睛真大，帮我看一下。有拿到乐透券的请举手，就是有七个号码的。好，有拿哦，那我们总共七个号码全中的朋友就可以下来获得我们高雄钢铁人的徽章组。好，是高手钢铁人呢，圆顶的所有球衣的徽章，这个组呢，非常的有纪念价值。我们七个号码全中的可以获得徽章组。好，艾恩，请帮我拿着一下。好，你自己也想要对不对？不要拿走了哈。好，首先第一个号码是七号 ，Lucky Seven 七号。好，来对一下七号、哦，我会继续练下去哦。第二个，第二个号码是五十一号，五十一号。好，看到我现在已经把票券收起来了，很明显就是没中奖。第三个是三十九号，第四个号码是四号。Your chance to get on camera only if you show up in a Plus League arena for Plus League basketball, of course. Our producers spending plenty of time during each commercial break for the in-stadium monitors. Even the uh, Participants in the ceremonial opening tip. Willie Martino leads the line here in scoring with a 13, followed by second year Zhu Yunhao with 12. Anthony Bennett started the game. He's third on the team. And Artino sure is been patient in this one. Not an easy task against to go up against him. Very lengthy, very athletic Brendan Gilbeck who there's quite a number on the line here defensively. And under the side, Olu Jovi leads the pack with 20. Followed by Jackson's 11. Tomoe has 10. Kojic, maybe a little ways to go to even last game's mark. He's got 8. And Lasofu sneaks on there with a 2 points. Now the Lioneers have been a little bit more liberal with their rotation. Only one player got a DNP. The Steelers, coached by Lale Gronovic, has three DNPs so far. I wonder if any of the youngsters will get on the floor, but you can kind of understand that the Steelers are under a little bit more pressure hosting these three season games and having the Braves kind of beat the brakes off on that Saturday night matchup. Meanwhile, the line here is after Pretty up and down interleague competition and hooking gymnasium earlier in the fall. They 
took that loss to the Dreamers. And of course, nobody wants to go back winless on this, even if it was just a short weekend. I guess it's a long weekend for everybody else, but short weekend for the players. Both teams we expect to be showing off different kinds of uniforms, different looks. Got one more break before the start of the second half. There's an LED lighted board, but it's the Steelers who get that little bit of electricity of support. Before we begin for the second half, be sure to leave a like on the stream. Help out the Plus League and our YouTube channel spread to a bigger audience. So after sitting on the bench the whole first half, number two, Jiang Guangxin made it onto the floor. And on the Steeler side will be the starters. Jiang Guangxin coming over from the SPL. Just like Liu Ximing, his teammate, who is also on the floor, number 23. Oscar waits for the screen to arrive, then get past and zip with the possession. 
That interesting when Amin said that, as there's an air ball. Might just need to get warmed up a little bit. Hits the open shot. He needs to build on his lead for highest score of the game. That one did. Miss Badly, and he'll hesitate a little bit. Goes straight to the basket. Sim fouled underneath. Good find by the youngster. Watch it just has a very serious Yoshi look with that haircut and facial features. That might be what I have to call him. He's got eight points in the contest. Yeah, make it nine. Talk about his regular season free throw shooting. Well, in the playoffs, he had 58%. Oh, just waits for everyone to run around him, then missing the uh, deep shot. All the Lioneers go five on three. Sim able to use his power for two. Oh, the whole of Joby is wrong with it. He didn't get the touch. Goes to the left hand, his strong hand. Got to himself. Some boy playing cat and mouse, but blocked by Sim. Good job closing the distance. Big left and hits another one. That free throw area has become his hot spot. Then a 14 shoot. with a pretty throw. I think you'll like playing a team who's pretty demonstrative. Not a double whistle, but. Jimmy. Holding with one hand, denying with the other. How much Yang Fan Jin can do? You know, typically likes to shoot it from top. That one's a little off center as long rebound to the Steelers. This time a push shot, and oh, Joby, but he has quite a show. Clean look off. The other way, oh, Joby, we're going to foul on the That time, Oscar. 
Oscar didn't foul with the first swipe, but did with the second. Kind of what happens when you have a big go down on one end. You have a big that could take advantage on the other end. Eight points already on the quarter. Perfect shooting. Perfect from the free throw line. At least in the quarter. In the quarter. Dagger screen. Almost passing into trouble as Jampong Chin throws it up for Sim. Way to make a little lemonade out of the lemon there. Oh, Joby has Oscar switched on him. They're leaving Jerry open curiously and gets it to Jackson, who three is short. Martino behind the head, wow! You think they work on that in practice? Swarming, the Lioneers leave Weber open and he strokes the three. Don't celebrate too early. Although Greg, Coach Greg's got a smile on his face. Weber, another double-digit scoring game as he passes in. Forcing the scramble throw out of the Steelers, and they say it's a turnover. The referees converge for a meeting, though Coach Greg did signal for the replay challenge. Looks like they'll keep possession. A little bit of a stumble, but now we have the third quarter TV commercial break. Lioneers by three as we'll be back. The show belongs to Olu Joby, who the Steelers wrote down the nickname Femi. The bull are yucking it up with Julian Hall. They call it a kick ball off of the Steelers. We get another look at it. That is a really difficult look. Hold up, hold up! 
Crash into Oscar. This defensive possession continues. Maybe to save Weber's legs. He does have five personal fouls. Number two, Jamarcus is in. Ping pong balls in. Getting very little momentum in the game. Captain Lou throws it back to Jerry. History on the way and in. I would have thought the rules would have been reversed, but number four, Jerry, makes it a tie game. Martino floats it up. No. And foul on the rebound catch. Probably wanted it the first time, though. Line years are going to get a line change going. <laughs> it's Captain Lou with his third personal. Caster, you also don't appreciate the players not hustling in and out of their benches either. Did Arquino just bank in that free throw? Point to the line here. And another. Number 33, 31, excuse me, having a pretty good free throw shooting game. Gary finding space, can't get the lay in. What's all dear the defender? He fakes the pass, then gives it. Artino blows the close one. Marcus is the winner. He was given a step and he still took that space and held his balance. A little, little bit of one. 2-1-1 one, one, and full court pressure. Artino probably got away with the travel there and Lee Quay able to finish. Marcus getting the lay in. Leading right back into a Possible shot blocker. Good technique there after uh, advising him the attitude and deficiency. They're going to call a travel on both sides. Yeah, that's kind of rough, but the Steelers are sticking together on that side of the floor. Oh, there we see Jamarcus. Didn't quite knock Artino into an unfavorable situation. Then Bullard's in, and we'll see how the Steelers match up in a possession. Big opening for Jamarcus, who leaves it out. So 
the Steelers' young players have missed a lot of threes. That's what we saw against the Pilots as Sofu jumps and gets the block shot. And Lee causes the out of bounds. Stopping transition. Let's get squeezed by the two players. Bowie sees the Steelers aren't so used to that spacing. Uh, all out of bounds for the line here. Lolly pleads for Jamarcus to give him some advice on that possible coaching challenge. AB from up top with a soft touch. Here is Sonya Jim with a celebration. Jerry wants to get Sim involved in the pick and He misses the runner. Right. We'll down the court. Another block by Salfu. So much better sound. Fundamentally sound. On defense, as I was kind of caught up in the uh, Marcus Olu Joby discussion about how to run the fast break. Who tries to three and Jamarcus? Wow, timed it perfectly and got a lot of air. Tied game at 79. Loose pass. Sofu jumps it, throws it up ahead. The oh, Joby will land and touch it. We're gonna have a technical for the second ball touched. Coming in through the cylinder. Maybe unfortunate, but the referees did warn Coach Lale and the Steelers. They're delivering on their promise. That's an important part of the credibility. He didn't need to touch that basketball. Chance for the Lioneers to get some subs in and out. Anthony Bennett misses. A curious choice, but once again, it's the preseason. Trying to steal some rest for Jerry. Wong Yushang is coming in. Try to put on a trap. And that's off who was called for the holding. That's all he could do. But the Steelers very much disagree with the play. Let's we'll see how you guys see it. can't put it on Sim for hurting an opponent, so it's kind of hard to imagine this replay by the rule book should get to anywhere in terms of changing a foul call, especially from one player to another on the opposite team. Well, it's not a coach's challenge. It's a referee IRS review. That's still 
guess we have to ask ourselves, were there any coaches challenge this weekend? I think there was one, and it was successful. Let's see what the crew chief have to say. The referees are advised they can accept the microphone from the DJ to explain the call. He has some experience trying to guard Sim. The call will just stand. This thing was the first to the delight of the fans. They're getting. Right back into the game. Pass the ball, Jitch. He's missing his close one. This time from the left side. AB finishes through the Steelers' defense. Yeah. Jackson in the corner, his top touch. that one. The spinning did cause Jamarcus to go offline a little bit. Might have created a big enough advantage, I don't know. Little Nick needing some help. Gets it back from Jamarcus. His three is on the way. No good. Bennett. Shalhei. Line here's offensive set is kind of breaking down there. Backwards pass and a turnover. One man to beat. Jamarcus takes the contact and finishes. With the left hand. I don't know why it's so impressive, but it is. Doing your haul. Trying to get it to to AB. The bucket and the foul as the Steelers' rotation was off. Get another look. Doing your haul. Might need to hit the weight room. As evidenced by that play. And then on the other side, what's Little Lou doing coming to help out the helper? Under a minute to go in the third. Bojic tries with the left hand this time. Tries to jump the pass. Sim with an easy dunk. It's going to be Salfu. Scamping it to Little Lou. Little Lou. No. 3, 2, 1. Touring Hall in his range, but leaves it short. We'll head to the fourth quarter. The Lioneers, 87. Steelers, 86. One final quarter, perhaps, in the Plus League preseason. Do you miss it? Well, stay with us.
再次掌声，谢谢我们钢铁女神雅典娜，谢谢。After the Gaussian Athena, you can call him, performs. We're just about ready to kick off the fourth quarter. Ofemi Alonjobi got things started with the scoring, but Jamarcus has found his way onto the scoreboard in a big way, providing a lot of energy and even a little theatrics heading down the floor. Pioneers will have Artino at center to start the fourth quarter, and Steelers, number zero, their leading scorer. There's Fennig. Looks like Coach Lale goes through four or five towels a game. Turned over by the Steelers, though, as the line here. Joker's jump shot, yes. A good way to start the quarter. That's what all in. Something he just landed out of bounds. I'll give him a pretty good effort for that one. Batted pass, Martino doubled, taking his time, called for the offensive foul. You're at too much of a disadvantage when you're doubled, especially in the corner looking back in. You never know if you can get a deflection and another turnover, live ball turnover. That's all before his efforts. We'll go down and they bring in. I think they brought in number two to Marcus. Trying to get with more agility out there. That's some defense, especially with only one import. Okay. Defene. Open Artino. On a step. Still fighting for the rebound. He's got it. Captain looks off the shot to Jerry down low, nothing. Deep pass by Artino and Joker able to hang on to it. Find a Chalsea finishes the possession off. Well, there's no quit yet in either of these teams. First score for number 11. Oh, Shot short and missed opportunity for the team in white. Quickly down the floor. Shall we kind of give it back? Joy Hall three short. Gary will try from the left side the break. No. 
Steelers will get a reset. Emmy with a touch. Fadeaway is no good. Oscar with acrobatic finish with the left hand. Steelers hang on to their timeouts, even though you've got a feeling that these offensive sets, those missed shots, are draining their confidence. Captain taking off some of those alternate shots, and instead it's a turnover. Timeout is indeed they get the feeling that they need a reset. Meanwhile, the Lioneers feeling confident, trying to get this victory, this dub on a Monday long weekend. Lioners currently hold a five-point lead. We have nine minutes to go in this fourth and final frame as Coach Lale is working on this kind of new look team. We've got three new imports. We'll see how they register on opening day, but you can unlimited changes to your roster of local players and the same players on the one, the same import players on the same team, infinite registrations up and down until the two-third mark of the season. We're a long way from that. No substitutions for the Lioneers. Steelers bring in number 16, Bojan. Middle of the zone. Oh, oh, push passes, and there's a foul to the hoop. I'm curious, they had Tank on the wing and Captain Lou on the baseline of the zone. I say that because you think you want Captain Lou close to the front. Or be closer to the three-point arc on the offensive end. I think maybe a bigger body to ward off any would-be drivers, would-be cutters. So a two-point guard lineup with Marcus right now running things stripped. Oscar trying to beat Jerry. Alvin on his way to the hoop. He's just way too too quick, and the deception in the way his hands move too. Maybe not so much on that possession. Looks like Lale's sub for subbing. Whenever you might make a mistake. Uh, free throw put Oscar at nine points. And now ten.
Washington finds a crease, loses it. Over to Weber, rush shot is up, no good. Good job by Artino on the box out. Oscar with a head of steam, lays it up, too strong. There's a foul on the rebound. Struggling in the fourth quarter. Lioners nine, Steelers two. They're not out of it yet, but they certainly look like a completely different team in this last quarter. That's only four minutes and 11 seconds in. Tank were trying to fight for it, and another stop for the Lioners. That's why you have Tank on the wing. Jerry missing at the rim again. Jocelyn, one man to beat, lays it in as all five of, all four of his line years teammates were with him. It down the tank and he gets a finish and another blown layup. As Durianhal tries to help up. Tank. A little extra stuff going on afterwards. three-pointer barrage that I kind of anticipate out of him. Once per weekend in the homestand. That's your credit to line here is they're on their season two. That's a cool 100 for the team in purple. Tap to Jerry's head and a foul. Then a first turn. Doesn't get the call, and Oscar with a little kickball. Trying to maneuver around. There's enough captain to three. No. Weber put his head down. Probably missed an open teammate. His fadeaway is finally good. I mean, that's the threat of confidence the Steelers needed. Takes a tough fade away, and just like that. He is back to 12. Five out. There's a foul 
on the floor, they say. Ooh, look at Artino. I guess you can consider that Shimasa Jin. Do the arm hook before the gather step. Pretty textbook. Tambo and uh, Captain Blue on his side as Weber gets the shot and foul as hard fall by Joker. Slowly makes it off the floor. We'll see how they figure it out. Well, there we see Jamarcus kind of just in the wrong spot there. He's going to be called for the foul. And hopefully, good boy. Looks all right. He's heading down the floor for his free throws, but turned around for the time now. times, 30 rebounds. He's got one assist. I don't think that number would be higher. Leading the team is a tie between Amy and Junior Hall of all players. That's really interesting. Meanwhile, the Steelers have six from Jerry. With their high mark. They only have 16 to the line here, 27 so far. Dealers out of the huddle first. We see uh, some of their reserves there on the second row. Kenny, the general manager, made some jokes about getting two guys related to Jeremy Lin just based on their Mandarin names. We have a Lin brother and then we have uh, a Hall brother. And you kind of got to know Mandarin to really get that joke. Joker with a swirly, but a miss. Every miss is an opportunity for the Steelers to keep that, keep their hopes alive. There in Captain Lou, the staggered down screen. Slips to the basket, foul by Junior Hall. Off the clock and uh, puts actually not a great free throw shooter at the line. That slip play that Coach Julius loves to run with the Dreamers. Captain New last season only hit 46 of 74. Free throws for 62%. Battles in the second. The league average is 67.5%, which admittedly is not good enough. Steelers force the turn over there in the corner. Let's see if Tuning Hall can bounce back. There's Certain stretches where you lose a lot of confidence as we see him try to make the move then back pivot with that left foot sliding over the blue line. Another staggered down screen. And Jerry blocked by AB. Joker to Oscar. They are in no hurry. Tricky pass somehow gets it through, and Bennett with a one-handed hammer. Only one 
Oscar go. Bennett, double double, kind of quietly. Very trapped. As Oscar is called for the foul. He's trying to get a jump ball, but he can't really have possession through another guy. Example right here. That's not possession. But over here, then it just took a few style points off with that extra bounce. He'll be plenty in the season. Very short. We got a, the original Jerry, you could say, with the Steelers. The team has signed in the free agency. Phil Button, center from the Dinos. Say only 198, but he can get up. Played a big position at Sishing, as I mentioned, along with usually two other quite decent. Tough shot, tough day by Demi. Ten point game, three and a half left. Maybe from the left corner, answers with three. Let's see if the Steelers can make it more than just an exercise. Another three, but this time missed. Might have took an awful hit there as Mikoka fouled on the way to the hoop. Now by the Steelers as they want to figure out how they can get back into the game. We'll see uh, the kick to the uh, yeah, inadvertently. One of those injuries that I keep moving and keep active. Hopefully it doesn't heat up on you. Tennant using the basket support for The awkward thing about that is it might tweak something in your knees, too. Those are some fresh sneakers. And Bennett heads over to the bench. So far in the game, the best plus minus belongs to Gogo Hall and Zuyu Hall. They're two Hall brothers. Both of them with double digit scores. Zuyu Hall has knocked down three of nine threes. And he's taken the most in the game. Tries to stay loose over on the bench. Looks like his night might be done. Tell me what I gotta do. Getting a handshake from Old Joby. Oh, 
Ali, even though it's one input for the entirety of the fourth quarter. Hasn't seen anything you'd like out of Bojic or Jackson to be the guy in this final 12 minutes. That one, James Hardy and Glover. And in for the first time. There's number nine for the steal. Bring him up in a moment. And there's a tough make for Marcus. Is that a three? Yes. Predictable out of a squad with a lot of subs. Let's see if the Steelers can up the pace. Demi battling Ivoka does have a weight advantage. Hey, let go! Hey, shot to Marcus there for the pickup. Gets by and ball poked out of bounds by Weber. 6.2 to defend this time. They would take a shot clock violation again. That would leave them enough time for enough possession. Boca changed the handoff, takes the difficult three. They're going to have to play to Marcus with the board. Up ahead, loose with the basketball. They don't need to hurry, but Weber shoots it. No. What's on? Another possession. Shalsling applied the pressure and will send the Steelers to the line. Good foul. about the substitution, but maybe Coach Lolly believes what we do be is out of gas. You can't blame him. He played well and he played most of this fourth quarter. Really hits the first, an important second. Goes down. Man -man. They don't necessarily need to get the early steal. Definitely have to get the stop. See if they get to jump on the mistake. Nice crossover. Chelsea Lee. Changes the shot, gets the rim, blows it. He's got to get back, though. Numbers for the Steelers. Weber down low. Kilbozong has got to get a handle on the ball. Costing his team big time with those drops. Weber swings it out. Little with a step back, no. Jackson, another possession. They can't afford to get slow, and there's a turnover. That's probably it, folks. They don't really have to shoot at all. Because that's the game you lose the opponents with about six seconds left. And a foul call. As Jumon Chan kind of makes it over to, to Marcus and takes the hit. Throw. Might hear some of the Lioneers fans. First level, maybe a little 
behind their bench, left side of your screen. Well, let's see if the Steelers have one last bucket in them. Jackson with a spinning three, sure. They'll hang on to it. Lion ears take the preseason finale 111-102 against the home Steelers. It's a spirited contest, certainly a bumpy one to start. But we navigate it. Thanks to you joining our broadcast. Stick around for the player interview. As our colleagues on the Mandarin side are putting together. Big difference for especially the Steelers is Olu oh, Jovi, who had a really great game on the offensive side. Steelers can't quite pull it out in the end. It's a eight point deficit in the fourth quarter, and they started down to two to nine. player to be interviewed is number eight, Julian Hall. Now a Shuetzong with a couple younger players than him in terms of pro experience, shall we say plus league experience. Julian Hall with his 12 points is the fourth highest mark for the Lioneers. Uh, the first match is still Stick together, play with purpose, and for himself to be aggressive and be proactive on both ends. I hope he can be very stable the whole season. Don't be like the last year, where he was able to play the whole year, and be stable to play the whole year, and be stable to play the whole year. Because the defense is my best. Asked about what his goals are for the season, he said, obviously want to get through it injury-free, but also have Steady output. Actually, So, thanks to Xiaolie joining our broadcast, and congratulations to him and the Lioners for the victory, and all six teams for getting their run in here in Kaohsiung Fengshan Stadium. We got one last break before we finally get out of here from Gaucho.
Huge props to all the fans who came into the arena and thanks to you on the other side of the monitor. Here's the combined team statistics of the sixth and final game. And the rebounding margins still favor the Lioneers. And as we saw at halftime, they also assisted on way more. But of course, that turnover was something that was keeping the Steelers in the game when you were giving opportunity to especially Femi Olojobi, which in that third quarter was really strong, perfect for his first several attempts. But the Steelers could have used the May 3 here and there and certainly wanted to execute better down the stretch. They kind of treating the basketball like a hot potato in the end. Need the reminder one more time, November 5th, that's a Saturday night. Happy Hooping Basketball Gymnasium. The Lioneers, who you just saw, will take on the Taipei Fulong Braves, who are an impressive 2-0. Look really strong, adding new players, young players, and have an outlook to 3 P. But what do the other five teams have in store? On behalf of the broadcast partners on the Mandarin side, and the six teams in the league, and our league operations, I'm Ryan Chen. Thanks to you for watching. See you in the next one.